What's going on, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. So it's holiday season, we're in mid-December now. We got tons of sales going on. If you haven't gone over to the website and checked out our 25 days of savings sale, make sure you definitely do that. You can see every deal that's gonna unlock on each and every day. Um, we got tons of stuff, everything from 30 to 80% off. There's some awesome closeout deals that once they're sold out, they're gonna be gone forever. I think in the next few days, we got some stuff on swim baits, soft jerk baits, top water, frogs. Uh, I believe we got trocar hooked coming up in the next few days. But either way, you can pre-scout and see everything before it unlocks so you know how to plan out uh, where you wanna spend your money at. All right, so going into some new tackle, we got a bunch of new gear for you this week. First up, the first few are from Strike King. So this first couple are some new spinnerbaits they're adding to the tour grade lineup of spinnerbaits. So the first one is their new Colorado Turtleback Blade. So really compact, uh, really compact size spinnerbait. This is actually a 5 16 ounce size. If you haven't checked out the tour grade series of spinnerbaits, they're just phenomenal spinnerbaits. They're built on you know, really flexible wire frames. They have really nice head, head designs on them. Uh, they put really good epoxy coating and paint on there. Uh, my favorite part about all these spinner baits is they have hand tied skirts and they're hand tied with wire. Really nice hook on there. It's kind of a no Shaughnessy style bend hook. So this little compact spinner bait with that turtle blade on there and the Colorado blade, you're going to get a ton of thump out of this thing. And it's, you know, relatively small size and compact. So if you want that small compact package, but you still want to have a lot of vibration, that's going to be one you want to check out. And the next one is their actual compact series. As you can see, just about the same size as this little 5 16 turtle shell. But this compact, uh, this compact spinnerbait is a double willow, so you're gonna get a lot of flash out of it. And this spinnerbait actually weighs a half an ounce. And how they achieve that is you're using the hidden weight design, so they got a lot of lead down here on the shank of the hook. Triple cone keeper on there, so if you wanna run like a soft plastic trailer, it's gonna hold it on there really, really well. Uh, same components as all the other tour grade spinner baits. Like I said, the really nice wire frame, ball bearing swivel, really nice blades, uh, that O'Shaughnessy hook, and my favorite again, that hand tied skirt. I love spinner baits that have that hand tied wire skirt on there. They can just take a bunch of abuse and you don't have to worry about them falling apart. You've ever had a spinner bait that stayed in your box for a while, a few months, a year, you take it out, you make a cast with it and that rubber band falls right off and then you're, you're out on the water, you don't have a skirt on your spinner bait. It sucks. This eliminates that and just getting a better quality spinner bait for your money. The next two, we got a couple of crank baits that don't really need any introduction really. Uh, this first one again is going to be from Striking. This is the new 6XD Hard Knock. So we all know the 6XD has been out for a long time. It's probably responsible for millions of dollars in tournament winnings over the years. Uh, a lot of the top pros throw it. I don't know how much money KVD's probably won on this crankbait, but either way, everyone knows the 6XD, but now Striking is offering it in a hard knock model. So instead of the traditional 6XD that has a bunch of stainless steel BBs inside that gets that really loud high pitch rattling sound, now it just has one solid BB inside. So, so you get that one knocker effect to it. So. Just gonna get that one knock. It's just a little bit different pitch and sound. Uh, it, you know, it's been proven if you've watched any of those ledge tournaments over the years. Uh, most of the guys have you know multiple kinds of crankbaits tied on at once. So you have maybe a rattling 6XD and then a silent 6XD. When you get that school fired up, you can catch a few and then they shut down. You can follow up behind with a different sound crankbait and that usually triggers a few more bites out of it. Now you're just adding a, a, a different sound into your arsenal. So you can have a rattling, a one knocker, a silent, and just keep rotating through and keep the fish fired up and really dial into what sound they're biting the best and just help you put a few more fish in the boat. The next crank we got is gonna be one from Berkeley. So we got some new colors. We got the HD series of the Berkeley Frit side. So right now is actually gonna be the best time of the year to throw these cranks. So these, these were developed by David Fritz and they were built to mimic the old school flat sided balsa crankbaits, but they're just built a little bit heavier, more durable since they're made out of a resin material. They're not gonna be as finicky as some of those old balsa baits were. You know, you'd get a, a handful of them and maybe some don't run right all the time. And that balsa is so lightweight on these uh, on the flat sided cranks, they were a lot harder to cast. So with these cranks, you know they've they've got that action down. So they've got that balsa style, really tight wobbling flat sided action. But with these resin cranks, you're gonna be able to throw them a little bit farther. They're gonna stay in tune better. Um, they're they're gonna last a lot longer and just be able to catch a lot more fish than them old balsa cranks. And now. With the new HD colors, um, I mean, we got HD Craw, there's HD Bluegill, there's Threadfin Shad, like th this one's my favorite out of the bunch. 
And we've got them in all the sizes, I believe, all the way from the five all the way down to the nine. Um, so they pretty much cover everything from, you know, a couple, one to three feet deep down to, I believe, seven to 12 is the deepest running one in the model. The deeper runs do have that coffin, coffin bill lip on there. Just a phenomenal crankbait. Over the last few years, there's uh, a bunch of pros have been winning a lot of money on these fritz sided crankbaits. So you definitely need to have one over for the next few months until the spawn gets underway. This is the time to throw these baits. All right, so we got a bunch of terminal pieces to talk about. So the first one up is going to be from BKK. So we brought in an entirely new hook company, BKK, and they've got a bunch of stuff. So they had these swim bait hooks, treble hooks, worm hooks, uh, EWG hooks. They've got a bunch of stuff. You want to check them all out. I just grabbed a few to show you guys. So this first one is their new is their Titan driver. So you know it's built for kind of your bigger or uh, your bigger soft soft plastic swim baits. Um, this is the regular Titan driver. They do make it in a plus model as well, which is even bigger gauge hooks. I believe we have them in tens and 12 aughts with heavier weights. And on the bigger ones, the weights are removable. So I believe the package might even come with an extra weight so you can change your weight size depending on the depth that you're fishing in. Um, all these hooks are gonna be made out of a really high carbon steel. Um, they have a super needle point on there and they are razor, razor sharp and they have a super slide coating on them. So they are that flat gray color, which I like a lot. Helps camouflage the hooks a little bit. It helps reduce some of that glare off the hook. So if you're fishing in really clear water, you know, these like these drop shot hooks, they're not gonna have that shine on them like a standard drop shot hook would. And help you catch a few more of those finicky fish. On this uh, Titan driver, you know, they got the blade on there to so put a little bit of extra flash. Uh, I mean, these style of hooks have gotten really, really popular over the last few years. I use them a ton. They work great. This one feels like it's built a little bit more robust and they have a few key, um, a few little added features on there. They have these kind of silicone keepers on there. So once your bait gets bit a few times and they start sliding down the hook and you're going through more plastics, these little keepers are gonna help hold your bait in place and help you save a little bit more plastics. Uh, we do have uh, some treble hooks, like I said. So this is the round bend treble hook, kind of a little bit longer shank, just a standard round bend treble. We also carry, uh, we also have an EWD, EWG style treble. So if you want that short shank, more aggressive uh, treble hook, we got that. We got the, the drop shot hooks. We do have um, kind of the smaller worm hooks, like the O'Shaughnessy style bend uh, for the thinner plastics. And then of course, you know, standard EWG hook, pretty much need these in your tackle box all the time. These work with any kind of worms, craws, creature baits, no matter what you want to do, Texas rig, Carolina rig, just phenomenal hooks to have in your tackle box at all times. All right, next up from Hairline, we got these line through rigging tubes. So this is how they come in the package. I believe there's about a dozen of them in there. there there's a couple different sizes. And what these are, are these small little tubes or you know, kind of like a straw. And you can use these for, for rigging uh, like line through style swim baits. So if you want to line through maybe like a small soft plastic or even like a small soft plastic jerk bait, you can do that. Um, but what's really gaining popularity and why we brought these in is for the new Eni rig. So uh, the Eni rig has been going crazy. People are just going nuts trying to figure this thing out and uh, get their hands on some stuff to actually go and fish it. So we brought these tubes in. So if you're looking for some material to fish that rig and you're trying to you know, start experimenting with that Eni rig, check these out from Hairline. You know, if you tie flies, these are originally made for tying flies, so you can use them for that too. But yeah, if you're looking for the Eni rig rigging stuff, uh, that's gonna be the one for you right there. Okay, last one, uh, last little terminal piece we got from Do It. So this is a whole new series of jig mold hooks from Do It, and these are the Victory hooks. So um, the Do It Victory brand hooks, uh, we have them in a ton of different styles and sizes. They come in these big boxes. So if you like to pour your own jigs and make your own jig heads and things like that, uh, these are going to be one you definitely want to check out. These are premium hooks. I believe we have just we have a, a bunch of different models of these hooks that covers about 75% of the different molds that we already carry. So they they fit the same molds as a bunch of the Mustads and the Eagle Claws and uh, the Eagle Claw hooks that we already carry. But when you're checking out the pricing on these hooks, you're getting a lot better value with these. So you're going to be able to make more jigs for the same amount of money and you're just going to increase your value and you're still going to have a premium hook on your jig. So for all the tackle tinkers, especially winter times coming up, a lot of people you like to sit in the garage and make a lot of tackle and get ready for the season. Uh, if you're looking to stock up on jig mold hooks, check out all these victory hooks that we just got from, uh, from do it. All right, let's check out some rods and reels. So the first couple up are going to be from lose. So the, 
this first one is going to be the new Luz Super Duty LFS. And I'm sure I've said this over the years on all the generations of Luz Super Duties. The Super Duty is probably one of my favorite reels in their lineup. Comes in at 189 bucks, and it's just a rock solid workhorse reel. I believe I still own the first generation of Super Duty that came out. I've had it for, I believe, close to eight years now, and it's, it still performs just like the first day I got it. So bulletproof reels. Um, this new updated model, you know, they've got a one piece aluminum frame on there and one piece aluminum side plate, 11 ball bearings in here. Uh, and they got the super pinion gear in there, which is a supported pinion gear. It helps keep all the gears perfectly in line to help reduce any of that gear torque when the reel is under really heavy load, which ultimately increases your cranking power overall. Um, on this new Super Duty, we got the combat knobs on the side, so real tacky finish on there. And then we have the combat thumb bar as well. So it's just a little, little bit nicer when it's wet outside or you just want a little bit of extra grip. The Super Duty comes with a, with a deeper spool in it, so it holds a little bit more line than, than most of the other, uh, than, than the other loose reels. And it does have a braid ready spool. Like, like I said, I, I've used mine forever and these, are, these work really well for more of the heavier duty applications. So if you want just a workhorse reel that can also handle you know, stuff like heavy flipping, punching, I throw a lot of Alabama rigs on mine, uh, you know, big six, seven inch swim baits. This reel does a phenomenal job of that. Um, on the back side here, it does have their speed keeper, really nice feature. Just so you, if you have a rod that you don't really like the keeper system, this works out really well. And then all of the Super Duties now include the flip and switch right here on the side. So you can engage that. And what that is, is if when you engage the flip and switch, every time you let go of the thumb button, the thumb bar, the reel automatically engages. If you've never flipped with a reel that has a flip and switch, it's a lot of fun and it makes you a lot more efficient on the water. I have a couple reels that have the flip and switch on there and it just eliminates the chances of you flip into, you know, you flip a new piece of cover and that fish instantly bites. You don't have to stop and, you know, grab a hold of the handle and engage the reel before you can set the hook. Once you let go of that thing, the reel's engaged and you can set the hook. So for all those times that you miss those key bites right when your bait hits the water, um, that, that flip and switch is key. And like I said, it's just gonna make you a little bit more efficient, a little bit quicker, allow you to make a few more flips and pitches throughout the day. The next one is their new Tournament Light series. So again, this is a, a staple that's been in the Lose line for a long time. And like the name says, Tournament Light, this thing is light. I believe it's 5.3 ounces. It's got an aluminum mainframe, uh, and then it's got the carbon side plates on it on the side. So that's where they really reduce a lot of the weight. Um, got the skeletonized reel seat on the back, so they shaved some weight right there as well. Um, it's got aluminum alloy gears in it, and it's got the super pinion as well, and so keep those gears and everything perfectly in line. Uh, carbon fiber handle with the EVA knobs on there. Um, it's got the, keep, the speed keeper on the side, just like the Super Duty does, but it also has the addition of the speed dial right here on the side of the tension knob, which allows you to dial to whatever size line you have, which is, I think, one of the most awesome things anyone's ever put on a reel. So that you can spin that thing and dial it to what size line you have on a reel, and you don't have to you know, write it on a piece of tape on the side, and you always know what size line you have on the reel. And if you're looking for, you know, this is a good all-purpose reel as well. If you're looking for a, an all-purpose, you know, do-everything type of reel, but you want it to be more lightweight, maybe necessarily you don't want it for throwing Alabama rigs or something like that where the Super Duty would be a better option, this is going to be a great reel for, to fit just about everything else in the lineup. Holds a little bit less line. This only, I believe this holds 120 yards at 12 pounds versus the Super Duty is going to give you 150 yards at 12 pounds. So again, just a super super lightweight reel really comfortable going to be great to fish all day long matches up really well with their really well with their new uh tournament series of rods with the silver on silver look just an awesome reel there from Luz. all right we got a couple of rods here so the first one is the new saint croix victory series so we just got these in uh these were an iCast release um we're just going to go over quick, quickly go over a few of the features since we are going to be doing a more in-depth review on this in the near future uh, myself and a few of the buyers and a couple of the other guys in the office have been testing out some of these rods and you know seeing how they perform and we're going to give out our you know our, our thoughts on it I, on the models that i've got to fish specifically i've been super impressed with and they are a phenomenal rod and probably one of the best bangs for the buck in this price range so the blank starting with the blank it's super lightweight they're really light and balanced and responsive blanks um, they use a combination of SC3 and SC6 carbons, um, what they're calling SC3+. Plus. So 
with those two, di two different kinds of carbon in the blank, um, they're able to layer the different layers of carbon throughout the blank and ultimately reduce weight, but get the actions and the flex that they want in the blank and uh, really tune these things to be technique specific. I believe we're probably got about 25 or 30 models in the lineup and we have everything from down to, you know, uh, a, six, a 610, I believe, medium light spinning rod up to a 710 double X heavy. They can throw up to eight ounce swim bait. So they got, you know, everything in the lineup that you would ever need for bass fishing. And like I said, everything's pretty dialed and technique specific. Uh, down on the handles, not every rod's going to come with the same handle. They got really nice cork handles, but some of, our, some of the models are going to come with a split grip. Some are going to come with a full grip. You got Fuji componentry from the guides all the way down. And one of the unique things on this rod series is this foam that they've put on the back side of the reel seat and on, above the reel nut. And it's super, super comfortable. Like I said, I've got to fish it already. And it's one of the most comfortable rods I've got to put in my hand. So. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a more in-depth review on this series, but if you've been waiting for them to come in, we got a handful of the models in uh, from iCast. I know there's been some guys waiting for these to finally come in stock and we finally got them. All right, the next rod we got to talk about is gonna be from Cashin. We got the new Cashin Core Series and we have these in a bunch of different models as well. Jigging worm rods, flipping rods, uh, cranking rods, spinning rods, got it all from the Cashin Core Series. I believe these come in right around 169 bucks. They are built on a really high quality carbon fiber blank and they've got Cashin's new energy dissipation jacket on the outside. And what this is, is it's an entire sleeve that they put over the, over the blank. And what that's gonna do is just give this blank uh, a bunch of protection. So if you're banging into your boat and the side of a tree, you know, in the garage up against the wall, we all, we all know when we, we do that, when we're getting tackle ready for the, for the weekend or whatever, um, it's just gonna help transmit some of that energy into the rod or to kind of dampen the blow and just protect these rods without sacrificing any sensitivity. So overall gonna be more durable, give you more protection, but not sacrifice any of the performance on these rods. We got Fuji guides on them. And then down on the, the handles, they have that signature cash and carbon fiber handle, which if you've never seen one or checked one out, it's a hard material. Some people get a little intimidated by it, but they are super comfortable. And with that handle on there, not only is it uh, reducing weight and improving balance, but it transmits vibration to your hand far more effectively than any kind of cork or EVA foam. So super, super sensitive uh, handles on there and they feel really good when you get them in your hand and they don't, uh, they don't slip or anything like that when you get them in wet conditions. So you can fish them in all weather conditions uh, when it's wet outside and it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna slip. It actually has a kind of a tacky feel to it. So super cool handle design, unlike any other rod that's out there on the market. They've also reduced the threads that are up here on the, um, up on the, the locking nut on the reel seat. So you don't have a bunch of threads sticking up above your finger, which are unnecessary on, on a bunch of rods. So it's more comfortable when you lay, when you lay your hand across the blank, you're gonna have more contact with the blank or it's gonna be easier to contact with the blank above your reel. Again, just more comfort and increases sensitivity on the rods as well. 100% made in America rods, really cool series from, uh, from Cash and Rods. All right, the last thing we gotta talk about. So we got a whole new rain suit from Grundens. So we got the new Grundens Gambler rain suit in. So if you're not familiar with Grundens, uh, they're a over 100 year old company out of Alaska and they're the ones that make the bright orange uh, bibs that uh, that all the commercial fishermen wear, uh, wear on like the Deadliest Catch and the Alaska shows and stuff like that. So their stuff is built to last and it's super strong and you're getting really quality stuff when, you, when you're buying something from Grundon. So this new Grundon's Gambler rain suit is going to be great for this time of the year. If you're looking for a new rain suit, I mean, you want to jump on these while you can. So this is a three layer Gore-Tex suit. So it's real, it's nice and light, super breathable, but it's gonna keep you ultra, ultra dry. It's got a storm flap over the zipper. It's got storm flaps over uh, the main zipper and the side pocket, so you're not gonna get any water in there. Um, got a nice high um, cuff around the neck here. So when you're running down the lake, you're gonna have a little bit more protection around your face. Got a nice hood. The hood actually rolls up into the back of the, into the, back of the, uh, the collar here. So if, you don't, if you're not running the hood all the time, you can roll it up and store it and it's not gonna be flapping in the wind or anything like that. Down on the sleeves, they got an internal neoprene cuff system. So uh, your arm's gonna go through that neoprene. You can cinch it down on the outside and you're gonna be fully waterproof. 
you can grab fish out of the water. If you're in a tournament, you can lip fish and go all the way into the water and you're not gonna have any water going up your sleeve and getting you wet throughout the day. A uh, couple of reflective hits on the top just for added safety. Uh, you know, for tournament compliance, we got the kill switch tab on the bottom right there. Uh, on the bibs, so a couple features on the bibs, got a really nice uh, suspension system on the top and then on the back of the, of the straps, there's actually a, a flex panel. So when you're bending over, um, these are gonna be a little bit more comfortable. They're gonna move with you. Um, down in the front, they got these really large cargo pockets. So uh, you don't have to keep digging in and out of your uh, tackle box. So you'd be able to store like a few packs of worms and stuff like that and not having to be getting in and out of boat compartments. So you got large pockets, keep a few things on hand. Large zippers down the side with aqua guard. So it's easy to get these things on. You can have boots on, you can slip them on and off. Uh, they got the Velcro around the bottom there, so uh, you can tighten up around your boots if you need to. But like I said, easy to get on and off without having to uh, take your boots off. Got a fly in the front, which is crucial, so when you're going to the bathroom out there, you don't have to take your bibs all the way off. And then a cool little thing they put on the inside is a small dock, and what they put that there for is for everyone that's running their remotes for uh, trolling motors and shallow water anchors and stuff like that. A lot of guys have their remotes toggled around their neck. Uh, now you got a little spot right there inside your bibs to store those things and just keep them out of the way and uh, uh, keep them from dangling around your neck when you're moving around on the boat. All right, so that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New with Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.